Hi, it's Teresa. It's Rhinestones and Wrinkles. I'm here in the forest on Tamarack Way in uh, Newport, Tennessee. I have another tiny home that is for sale, built by Incredible Tiny Homes. It is a craftsman. And here's the craftsman. It is covered in sicken stain. It does have a see how this works a tongue box which if you know ith they do not really do these anymore because they're a lot of work a lot of work and cost a lot of money so we've got a storage tongue box on the outside it's like the propane tank is there i'm going to show you this side from this angle it's a little tight in here i don't expect to get back there because I'm a little too chubby for that, I think. But anyway, this craftsman, I'll go in on the other side, which is where the front door is. And you can see, let me try to get back. There's a lot of wooded uh, brambles here. So let's see here if I can get back enough to, to show it. It's huge, huge. Sickens is really good staying for, especially if you're going to be in the forest, for protecting your wood. I'm going to walk back. This is the kind of area that you back up to. It's all wooded. But actually, eventually, I think it's going to be a park back in there for the residents. But this doesn't have anything that's going to, they're not going to be building behind you on this one. This is a prized lot in Newport, Tennessee. The lot stays with the home if you get approved by Randy. It's his lot and you have to go through the approval process with him, but this owner is a first time owner and does not have any buy-in fee or key money required. Big, big, big picture window in the back. Mini split, of course. Okay, let me try to make my way over here. Just to show the back side. Yeah. So basically this is your, this side of your lot is basically back to the electric pole. That's where your, uh, where your lot ends. It's not really official, but, um, that's where it ends. And then on the front side, let me show that front side, you can see my cars over there parked. That's the parking space for this. So there's even some privacy from the parking if you want this lot um, or this owner has told me that the skirting has been paid for it just hasn't been installed yet it will be and a deck is going to be put on this the only thing on the outside that hasn't been uh, paid for or won't be done and will have to be done by the new owner if you want to do it is the tie downs and I believe if you do that before skirting it's about $500 so that'll tie it down. It's the hurricane straps. It's just a precautionary me measure. I'm not sure that it would actually work if we got a terrible, terrible, terrible hurricane or tornado or something, but it can only help. Um, but this is a big, heavy, heavy, heavy home. All right, so I will post in a couple of days the inside, and I will also put in the description how you can reach out to the owner and all the amenities that are in inside and all of that.